our tale of the tape for this women's bantamweight championship fight. So two years, the gap in age, some differences in height and reach as well. We send it inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 11 wins, 4 losses. She stands six feet tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Kansas City, Missouri, USA, presenting the challenger, Megan Anderson. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 20 wins, four losses. She stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World, Amanda championship fight will we crown a new UFC women's bantamweight champion tonight let's find out that's a big strike right there mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active you can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks and they separate Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, that's a nice scramble by her there. Look at the turnover in that kick. Not there. Ooh, big shot lands. All right, so once again, the fighters engage in the clinch. We'll see who will have the upper hand here, champ. There are so many options to dictate and control this exact position. Who is gonna take advantage of it? All right, so Amanda Nunes getting off here again as usual, really as well-rounded a fighter as we have in the men's or the women's game here in 2020. Yeah, regardless of gender, right? Regardless of gender, Amanda Nunes stands amongst the best in pound for pound in the entire UFC. Oh, beautiful connection by her on that punch. She's so fast when she throws. Right on the button. Watch the button. Oh, the master of the transition. Nice scramble. Oh, that right hand is on point. Oh. She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's going to finish the fight. Two minutes now to go in round one. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Wow, there is just a viciousness with which she operates here on the ground as she continues to get the ground and pound game going. She might get a finish here. She's looking for a finish. She's so good at dictating these ground changes, and she's doing a fantastic job of building posture to try to land that kill shot at the top. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. So we pull up the numbers here. 28 total strikes have landed for the Lioness Amanda Nunes. 45 seconds to go here in round one. And they separate. 30 seconds to go. Oh, strong punch there. 
out by Nunes. Oh, she lands the sidekick, DC. Beautiful technique there. She really is good at managing space with that technique. I think about Michelle Waters, who also does it a lot in her fight. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so there it is, the end of the round. Somehow she survives and advances after getting knocked down with a big punch there in that round. She's tough. She's durable. But she cannot continue to take strikes like this. She needs to move her head on the center line. She cannot be a stationary target if she has any desire to win this fight. some body shots. there, so the hands look good tonight. Great timing to land that punch. Oh, beautiful hip toss there as she takes her opponent for a ride. She took her on her own personal flight. <laughs> Over the top with that beautiful hip toss. Fantastic technique. Man, she's got some good ground and pound and putting that part of her game to good use tonight. She's putting it to great use, just really damaging from this opposition. Might be able to hook onto an arm here. Attacking armbar. Oh, slams her to the ground, so she appeared to be fending off the armbar, and then she just used her power and exploded her opponent down to the ground. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Nunes. Pretty good job there, posturing up and landing with the ground and pound. She has been very efficient in this situation tonight. Very efficient and very accurate. Hats off to her. Attempting an arm ball here. Gotta be careful, arm ball. Oh, we're getting a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. job by her there to execute the submission. Clearly she had an opening and she closed the show pretty effectively there. That is one of the bigger wins of her UFC career. All right, so there's the end of the round. And in terms of offensive wrestling execution, she had it all going. Yes, yeah, she had it all working. She did everything she wanted to do. She was racing to position. Once she got to a leg, she didn't pause. She didn't stop. She went right to the finishes that she needed in order to get the fight to the ground. I mean, that was a great display of offensive wrestling. So there she is as the celebration continues in the corner. The queen of the 135ers, the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion, your winner tonight by way of submission. What a way to get the job done and leave with the UFC goal. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 21 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by tap out. And still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Amanda Lioness of the Ring, Nunez. 
So after an emphatic submission win here tonight, she remains the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion. A lot of people thought this was a qualified, credentialed number one contender, and she was, but she proved no match for the champion here tonight, and the celebration is on. Hard to blame them after this result here tonight. Congratulations to the Anna.